I'll bring this. Now we're stranded. morning and welcome back to the good old southern ia thank you guys for joining us again here today on another planting vlog lately i've been documenting our spring preparation to get the crops into the ground and the actual planting of the crops so that we can harvest a crop this fall for you that don't know, my name is Ben Van Roekel. I run this Iowan Farmer YouTube channel. I am a 28 year old second generation farmer working on a family farm. And I'm taking you guys along with me to show the trials and tribulations for young farmers in this day and age. This morning we're gearing up to get ready to go do some more corn planting. Uh, we've got to reload the seed tender with some seed. We've got, I got an idea what hybrids we should put in on that farm. I'm going to brainstorm those with my dad, make sure he's on board with what I'm thinking. And then we will head over there, service things up, and get back to planting. But I do need to tell you guys, in honor of the planting vlog, the first planting vlog to reach 2,000 likes, we will be giving away a sticker, and we just broke 24,000 subscribers, so we're 1,000 away from giving away one of these hats. Austin's back to work with us today and he's gotten pretty smart he already knows that uh, lunchbox and cooler wherever you go but then he also decided that uh, he ought to bring this okay here we go time to fire things up so the game plan it looks like for the day Austin's just here to help us um, basically be the gopher and he's also gonna put some inlets back up somebody hit him at some point in time it wasn't us i think it was like an applicant i don't i don't understand how that or deer knocked him over who knows so he's going around and making sure all the intakes for the terraces are on there um, and then he's also going to be our gopher for the day so anything that we need help with he's just here to lend a helping hand dad's in the 9400 in the vertical tillage tool i'm obviously in the planter here we're going to be planting again today don't know how many acres we're actually going to get planted today because most of it's not even laid up yet so uh we're i, I really don't know so it's going to be just to kind of go as i see type of day but one of the things that i do in the morning is that i tell the computer whether the integer the egg leader what i'm going to want you to do in this field basically before i come to work and you can do this way ahead of time you can do it during the winter if you want to uh, I write a prescription for what I'm going to want it to do in this field. I transfer it to this USB drive right here, and then I answer this USB drive into the AND command, and then it will know what it, I'm wanting it to do in terms of population. So the end command monitor is telling me that I have about 300 pounds of seed in one side and 200 pounds of seed in the other and that's not really telling me that it's reading what the planter is trying to say. The planter is also saying that but I am going to just visually check and see what the seed looks like in the hoppers. It might be a little shy of that figure but it's pretty darn close so I'm not going to worry about it. Go look over my planter real quick make everything sure that everything looks visually okay oh 
looks good. We're ready to go do some planting, I guess. We're gonna head back to, uh, this field's actually got multiple fields in it. We're gonna head back to the furthest field where we're gonna try and plant out the rest of the seed in here. That way we don't intertwine the hybrids and really not know what's going on. Uh, and then we'll refill it and get into the main part of this field or parts that I can at least plant that have been laid up. Okay, so this planter is hydraulically driven versus the bean planter, it's ground driven. So there's no like wheel out there on the end. So what you actually have to do, or and I'll take you step by step on this process here, is that you have to actually turn the planter on via these remotes and then do a little bit up here on the monitor as well. The planter is just dead right now essentially it's completely dead so what we're gonna do here is that where you're going to turn on the drives for the planter that just turned on the hydraulic drives which are out there and it's got two electric or two hydraulic motors that one controls this side and then one controls the opposite side over here this one right here turns on my ASD deli ASDC delivery system which puts air pressure into those two white tanks right up there. Uh, and you can see this, it has tank pressure at zero right there. But as soon as I turn this on, I put it up there in the continuous flow. My tank pressure is up at 14, 12 pounds. That's something that I have to watch throughout the day is the oil forms its way up. And it will make the tank pressure go up and down. You don't want your tank pressure too low because then you're not gonna make the seed deliver very good. Uh, or if you get too high, then sometimes it almost stops delivering as well. Uh, we I've found that in between 10 and 12 pounds is usually a great sweet spot to be in for the ASD delivery system. Next thing I have to turn on for this planter is the PTO. This actually has a PTO driven pump and its own reservoir. That, that big black, like cinnamon roll swirly deal up out there those are the vac system there's one for each side and then it's also all got a hydraulic cooler on top of those so when i kick on the pto here you'll see dust come flying up out of those uh fans there we go she's just blowing out a little bit of dust and if you ever actually like end up going down the field and you hear this loud humming that that's what you're hearing from the planters the next thing i need to do is actually prime my seed meters all that is is just a push of a button meter not drive moving drive one why would that be oh i, I have it in uh, float not in not in continual flow now that the meters are primed, and the, when the meters are primed, that means that as soon as I start moving, a seed's gonna drop in the ground. It doesn't have to do a full rotation to pick up a seed before it actually drops in the ground, that it's just ready to go. Gonna make a new pattern here. So we're gonna go a new pattern. We're not doing a straight one. We're gonna go with a smart path for my boundary and headlands. There we go. We got a pattern ready to go. So when it's time to steer, we can steer. My master switch is on planter is down I need to check my down pressure too it should be okay my down pressure is good let's go plant that dog right there is in this half My tank weight is getting low. I'm down to 15 and 150 in the other. So that it doesn't blow out, that I'm just gonna call it quits on this one and uh, head back up to the front to get a refill done in here and we'll get back to the plan. Okay, so now that we're reloading and miraculously have the same exact amount of weight in the tanks, it's like, that never happens. Never happens that you have the same amount of weight in the tanks. Um, I have to change the products real quick in both of the tanks, actually, because it's a completely different hybrid. But now I need to cruise my way back to the part that I was in. 
So I'm going to take advantage of that and scrap on some lunch. So now I just finished up this back patch here and I can show you guys something here. Okay, so here's the field again that we talked about about the population the other day. Uh, the darker green is more seeds per acre. The lighter green is less seeds per acre. That's obvious there. We can go into the split screen mode here. And then here is the, the prescription that we're running, which the prescription is the same as this. Uh, basically, this is the application side. This is the prescription side of what it should supply. So this is the whole farm. This is just the piece that we got done. And then if you notice here, if we look closely here, and I'll pull this back up into the bigger screen here, is that, we'll go to one screen, sorry guys, hold on. Give me one second, I'll put it on a bigger screen for you guys here. Okay. So then if we look here, you can see that now we're starting to track hybrids through the field as well. And it gives us arrows on which way we were actually planting. But now there are three different hybrids in the field and it's keeping track of that as well. So hey everyone, Ben wanted me to show you what he has me doing today. And we're taking the ATV out. We're driving around to all the terraces. And we're looking for the inlets that have been knocked over by machines, wind, who knows. And some of them we have to dig out, but this one here is pretty clean. So we should be able to just slide it right back in. You always got to check for critters because there's been a few snakes and a couple mice. Slide it down. Put it all the way in. Then we're good to go. See, that was an easy one. There's been quite a few that we've had to dig out and clean out. Just grass, dirt, where, the, where it sunk down. And then I've also been going around picking up stuff out of the field that people have littered, all kinds of trash. Found some old T posts, some old steels, just stuff that he's not going to hit with his planter. And big rocks, stuff like that. But as you can see, there's been quite a few terraces that we've been uh, driving around to. And I've only gotten lost like three times in the field, thinking, uh, trying to stay on track of where I'm going. This one looked good when you drive by, but as you can see, we're not actually good. So we gotta pull it out, move some of this stuff out of the way so we can put that back in there and get it locked in tight so it doesn't blow out with one of our Iowa storms here. One important thing about being on an ATV in the field though, when you're repairing these, know your clearance on the gas gauge. Cause now we're stranded. Keep going. There you go. Okay, we are reloaded. I uh, did change the product again here. We're gonna, all right. Planter has to be down to prime the seed meters. Okay, you can go down that. We are getting sprinkles every now and then. Now that's great. Uh, seed meters are primed now, boys and girls. You can tell I, I noticed I forgot to prime my seed meters when I started there. So what I'm actually gonna do is to make sure that it will plant, uh, we're just gonna leave that gap there. Because otherwise, if I turn that off, that's gonna plant all the rows and I'm on a curve here, but the straight it wouldn't be that big of an issue. So we're, we might just leave a little bit of gap. That's just the way it's gonna go. We're gonna go to gear seven. We are chest speed. We got down pressure 215 pounds. It's a little heavy, but I want to, I don't, well, maybe adjust that a little bit. My seat's good there. Tank pressure's 12 pounds. Planters down. Go get it. You can tell that the color did change. Now the split planter was uh, red and green there. Now it's all the same hybrid again. So it's now painting a completely different color, which is yellow. So if we scroll out real quick here, you guys can see kind of where I'm working at. You can see there's where I, uh, there's 
here's where my planter decided to shut itself off and I replanted it. But right there's where I think I ran out of seed. So we're gonna plant our way right back into that. I shut that off with the master switch, so it's a good straight line there. And we'll just be able to plant straight into that and then uh, we're in good shape, we'll go back. Keep on keeping on. obviously going down and I haven't given away a sticker yet today so it's time to give away a sticker if you guys didn't know which I'm going the wrong way here this is row one two down here that we've been giving away a sticker in every video and all you have to do is be our favorite comment within the first 24 hours to win a sticker when goes to desert dreamer and he says drop Wayne off, or <laughs> drop Wayne off he said dropped off at Wayne's doggy daycare Yes, that's very much so true. Wayne is like Bandit's personal doggy daycare. Hey, Wayne. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder who's Bandit's dog owner is. Is it really me or Wayne? I, it's kind of a gray area some days. There she goes. Anyways, thank you for the comment. Send me an email and I'll get you your sticker sent out. For anybody that is just dying to get a sticker, they are available on my website along with hats. So in the link in the description below. But we're gonna take the time to thank you guys for hanging out with us down here in Southern Iowa today. We had a, a really pretty darn smooth day and I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm gonna continue planting here for a little while tonight and then I'm gonna go get myself a ribeye steak and uh, maybe poke a little bit of fun at full scoops. So, see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna move it and then we'll ask Ben what we should do with it after that. Because I don't think he wants to leave it there. That hell of a place to take a nap, dude. So we'll move this guy over here, leave him there for a while, or until Ben decides what he wants to do. I hope he doesn't want me to bury it because it seems pointless. And he stinks. Ooh, he smells bad. <laughs> 